Welcome back, guys. It's been a while since I posted a video. My goal for 2020 is that hopefully for the rest of the year, I'll be posting a video every single week. I am working on building up a backlog so that I'm not trying to post a video the same week that I film it, and that's going to help me be a lot more consistent. With that being said, if you don't already know this, I'm Chris from Avahi Design, and today we're going to be talking about improving your site speeds for your WordPress website. Everything that I'm about to show you is available for free on self-hosted WordPress. Um, I'm not sure if this would work on WordPress.com sites, but feel free to check and let me know in the comments if it does. Site speed is super important, especially now as internet speeds get faster. You want to make sure that your site is still loading quickly. You'd be surprised how many sites take forever to load, even though internet speeds are faster and faster. The goal for any website is for it to be under three seconds. Google actually recently released an update in 2018 or 2019 that takes your site speed into account whenever deciding what search results to serve up. So if your website is super slow, then there's a chance that Google won't even show your website to visitors. There's a ton of different places that you can check your site speed at. Um, my favorite is webpagetest.org. You can also check on Pingdom tools or page speeds. They all test a little bit differently. Your site might not do very well on uh, page speeds, but it did great on web page test. So you just need to check all three to make sure that your site's loading properly and how you expect it to load. Okay, so let's hop into the site and start making some improvements. I've chosen three plugins that we're going to install. All three of these plugins are free. Um, if you're looking for a premium plugin, I would recommend WP Rocket. Okay, so this first plugin that we're going to talk about is called Smush. So it's completely free. Uh, with the free version, you are able to smush 50 attachments at a time. Uh, you can run it multiple times, so you can keep, you know, if you've got 400 attachments, run it a few more times, and you can get through all of them. Uh, they also have Lazy Load. That's a new thing that they recently did. But I generally just use it for the bulk smush. Um, you can set custom image sizes. You can have it automatically compress images on upload. Uh, you can strip your image data. You know, you can kind of choose what you want to do and specifics that you want it to follow. It's a really simple plugin. There's not a lot to it. Uh, pro tip, wait until you are completely done uploading images and then smush everything. It makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion, because sometimes it'll slow your site down while it's waiting to you know, smush the images. The second plugin that I recommend getting is WP Optimize. So, it's, again, pretty simple. You just select what you want to optimize on your website. This is all mostly like back end. So if you've got a bunch of trash posts, auto drafts, you know, spam or comments, anything like that, you go ahead and optimize it. You're not going to notice a huge difference right off the bat with this plugin. But in the long term, it definitely helps create a cleaner, uh, faster website. This third plugin I recommend using is WP Fastest Cache. So the definition of a cache is hardware or software that is used to store something, usually data, temporarily in a computing environment. Essentially what it means is that it's going to preload all of your site pages and it's going to hold on to it so that whenever somebody goes to your website, it's able to serve those preloaded sites and it's drastically going to change how quickly your site is loading. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more in-depth than the other three or the other two plugins that I showed you, but it's still pretty simple. You know, you just go through, you click what you want to do. These are my general settings that I use for every website. You know, you want to make sure that you're minifying and combining as many resources as you can. You also want to be gzipping. Uh, browser caching is a big thing um, because the second time somebody goes to the site, it's going to be even faster than the first time. I chose to use WP Fastest Cache because it's the one that I've had the least amount of issues with. Um, some of the other plugins that I've tried, they don't work well with other plugins. So this one doesn't seem to really cause any issues. It's pretty simple to set up. And one thing to keep in mind with any caching plugin is whenever you make changes to the site, you have to make sure to go up to the top and you want to clear 
clear the cache or delete the cache to make sure that everything that you made changes to is pushed out to your front end user. So this right here is webpagetest.org. Like I said, this is one of my favorite ones to use. Um, I really like it because it gives you this easy to follow guide right here at the top that kind of explains what each like grade is and why you got it. And then if you need to know more information, you can just click on it and it'll take you to a bunch of stuff that list out why they gave you that grade. This site that I'm looking at right now actually does not have any of the plugins installed or running. This is actually a pre-production site or like it's still being built. And like I said, I always wait until everything's built before I add the plugins in. Um, so you can kind of see some of the things that are causing it to load really slow. Um, a lot of it is CSS uh, sheets. All of these style sheets, all of this JavaScript. There's some images also that are kind of low and taking a little bit longer to load. Uh, the server response time is actually pretty good, but you know, there's just a lot of resources that it's trying to load. And so that's where that caching comes in. It's going to kind of get everything down into a much smaller package and it'll load a lot faster. This second site. The second site that I want to show you is Grace Hauling, and this site does have the three plugins uh, installed on it, and a few other, you know, speed optimization techniques and stuff. You know, these three plugins aren't the end-all be-all of your speed optimization, but they are going to make a big difference. But as you can see, the average load time for this website is 2.132 seconds. It's really not a heavy site. It's loading super fast, and that a big part of that is again that caching plugin you know making sure that everything's properly cached making sure that all my images are compressed and properly compressed uh and as you can see you know that last website was eight seconds and this website was two seconds to load so again huge difference by using these techniques and these uh plugins so hopefully you learned something and you'll be able to implement some of these plugins on your future websites. Like I said, if you're looking for a more premium thing, uh, WP Rocket is a one plugin that handles all of these things. So that would be another option to look into. Most sites are probably going to need a little bit extra optimization, but these plugins are a great place to start with it. And you can kind of go from there to get it to where you need your site to be. With all of that being said, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.